Hello everyone, I'm Tristan, and today we are gonna learn five key phrasal verbs that start with the word go. Now, I don't want you to go out of your way to watch this, see what I did, but we are going to learn this vocab for TOEIC, TOEFL, IELTS, and most importantly, daily life. So let's get into these phrasal verbs. We are gonna teach them around this gentleman. This is Hector. Hector works at an advertising firm, so he will be our main character in this story. Let's get started. All right, so Hector works at an advertising firm, and there's a lot of pressure to succeed. He went into this field because he enjoyed the chance to use his creativity. There is our first phrasal verb. He went into this field. He went into advertising. If you go into a field, such as advertising, teaching, acting this means you start working in this industry for example i well that's not true i decided to get into teaching because i enjoy talking to people or she went into accounting because she was good with numbers okay so we know hector went into the field of advertising so he liked being creative one day he was just going about his day when his boss called him into her office. To go about one's day is to follow the usual routine at home and work. It's often used with, I was just going about my day when surprised. For example, I was just going about my day when I heard the explosion. What was it? I don't know. So, Carlos was just going about his day when his boss wanted to speak with him. The boss told Carlos the company was probably going to go under. What does this mean? If a company or a business goes under, it goes bankrupt. It cannot pay its debt. It will close. It doesn't have any money left. For example, for years the restaurant had had few customers and some thought it would go under. So it would go bankrupt. But after a great review in a national magazine, business picked up. And if business picks up, that means business got busier. So back to Hector. The president was angry about the situation and started blaming Hector. She went off on him about his poor work performance. So to go off on someone is to get angry and start yelling and complaining about them. For example, the teacher went off on the students after 90% of the class failed the test. So the teacher started yelling and getting angry at the students. So the boss went off on Carlos. The boss said that all employees had been disappointments. Man, this guy is cold hearted. Or this lady. That went for Carlos as well. So when you say that goes for the person, that means the person must follow the rule. That also, that person also gets the rule. For example, all employees need to arrive before 9 a.m. tomorrow, and that goes for senior management as well. So let's look at the vocab we used. We started with go into a field or go into a career. An example, he went into acting after his sports career ended. The next one, to go about his, her, my, their day, when. This is, you are just doing your normal routine when there's a surprise. I was just going about my usual day when the police arrived at my house again. Why are the police so interested in me? Or the business goes under. That means to go bankrupt, can't pay their debt. Example, GM would have gone under if the U.S. government hadn't bailed them out. Was it a good idea? It's up to you to decide. Now, we also looked at person goes off on someone, gets angry and starts yelling and complaining. The coach went off on the referee for not calling the foul. The foul? The foul. And finally, that goes for person. That person has to follow the same rule. All citizens should be, should be judged equally under the law. Three, and that goes for the president as well. 
I agree, but it doesn't usually happen that way. All right, so this is part one of the go phrasal verbs. Wait, anticipate, get ready, because we're going to do part two and there will be 10 in total. Please like, share, subscribe, and that last one, comment. All right, have a wonderful day, everyone. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.